The big question, do experts have safety concerns with our bridges here in Virginia? Amy Simpson from our sister station in Richmond spent the day looking for answers. Here in Roanoke, police are investigating what they're calling a suspicious fire. It happened around 6 this morning in the 300 block of Westside Boulevard Northwest. Street after street blocked off due to flooding in the Cave Spring area. And some people dealing with a few inches of water in their homes and others dealing with several feet of water. Yeah, big mess. But the nativity scene wasn't the only thing that was vandalized. The intruders came into the cemetery and knocked over several headstones. I've been trying to talk to people, get a sense of how everybody's been feeling since this manhunt began on Tuesday. And for the most part, people are going on about their normal business, but they're being much more vigilant and much more cautious since this manhunt started. And I'm Lauren Taylor. Police of Virginia Tech are investigating five recent cases of sexual assault involving students. Bombshell allegations coming from President Donald Trump this morning. Now, did President Obama order wiretaps during Trump's campaign? And I'm Lauren Taylor. Tonight, we're live from the Virginia Tech campus for the largest on-campus Relay for Life event in the world. Tonight, there's going to be over 10,000 Hokies out here raising money for cancer research, and they're hoping to raise more than a half a million dollars tonight alone. Tonight in your local good news, one Rono group is striving to get high schoolers active in their communities. Now, you can't go to a big game without some really cool swag. Well, John Kutchko, he joins us live from Houston, Texas, where people are grabbing jerseys and hats right before kickoff. Hey, John, good to see you. A former teacher accused of crimes involving a student turned himself in today in Danville. We first told you last night that Jonathan Good was indicted on charges of taking indecent liberties with a student at Westover Christian Academy. The 38-year-old is accused of Sending inappropriate text messages to the 16 year old and engaging in illegal physical contact on school property. Today, one person was killed when a car drove into a crowd. Two state police officers died when their helicopter crashed just outside of Charlottesville. The first official day of fall, but it felt more like summer out there. Clay standing by in the Pinpoint Weather Center. Now, Clay, is it going to be fall or summer this weekend? Ah, uh, yeah. A really great crowd out there today. I know yeah. we had fun. A lot of people having a lot of fun, getting a lot of sun today. So Lots of sun. Getting some sunburns. Clay's in the Pinpoint <laughs> Weather Center. Clay, you're saying the heat's going to be cranking up even more tomorrow. It is. People didn't take my advice today. I there's did. Two people. I didn't get burned. Ah, yeah. Just this well, one. There's another guy. <laughs> Lots of volunteers braved the chilly weather this morning to help make a church more accessible for its handicapped members. And they're hoping these letters will prompt City Council to consider removing this Robert E. Lee Confederate statue. Now, this statue, it's downtown and it sits right across the street from Roanoke City Council Chambers. I'm in downtown Roanoke on Wells Avenue and I am in the middle of banter going back and forth between Donald Trump supporters and Hillary Clinton supporters. Take a look at this right over here. Police tell me that they were chasing this guy up and down 581, both north and south in both directions. He finally got off at the Orange Avenue exit. He came down here to Orange and 12th, and that's where he crashed into a bunch of cars in front of this home. If you take a look behind me, this is still an active scene. Becky Travell, police have identified the man who was killed as 26-year-old Jermaine Lynn Black. The incident took place right here behind me at Monsters Bar and Grill just before 3 this morning. Investigators found that man had his eyes off the road for 12.6 seconds. And just to give you an idea of what that looks like, we're going to go ahead and break it down for you. If you're going 55 miles an hour and you take your eye off the road for three seconds, you've traveled 100 yards. That's the length of an entire football field. This driver had his eyes off the road for the length of four football fields combined. During construction, customers are going to have to deal with some minor inconveniences over the next couple of weeks, but renovations should be complete at the beginning of fall. In Roanoke, Lauren Taylor, WFXR News.